All right, today is gonna be a very, very special video and a very different video. The last time we did this was when TJ surprised Sabrina with her Urus, and today we are surprising TJ with a GT3 RS. Me and Dylan, we came up with some incredible lies to get out of the office early. We are on the way to West Coast Exotic Cars right now to meet up with Hunter to pick up the GT3 RS. This specific spec on this specific car is so insanely hot. And Dylan, what do you have to say about this whole master plan? I'm super excited. TJ does a lot for everyone in his life and so for this to come to fruition and Sabrina have a f***ing bitching idea and just kind of bounce it off us and us do anything we can to make it happen I'm just real proud of it so we just kind of snuck out which feels real weird but it's for a good cause so for a great cause yeah so we're just gonna go handle this and then uh, I can't wait to see the look on that head's face when he sees it also for the past like six or seven months all TJ has been talking about was how much he misses his old UV purple RS he always talks about it. That is the one car that he always says he regrets selling. The Huracan, the 458 GT3. He never like really expressed, oh, I miss those cars. I regret selling those cars. The only car that he does that for is his old RS. So I feel like this surprise is gonna be a, a 20 million out of 10. TJ doesn't really um, get excited about a bunch of cars. Sure. Like he, he's excited, but he's not in love with, oh, that's uh, typical. Yeah, just, yeah, no, just run out of fuel. It's okay, don't worry about it. He just doesn't get that excited about a, a new vehicle. And if there's one vehicle he kind of like leans on, goes back to, it is this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo, you, are you around anybody right now? Nope. Okay, me and Dylan are on the way right now. We'll probably be there in like an hour, hour 20, I know, right? We'll be there in an hour 20. When we drive down the driveway, do we like do some revs? And like, I think that's probably the best because he'll hear it and he'll oh, be like, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Make it, make it loud. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna have a hot tub going. Kevin's okay. gonna be over. Yeah. He'll probably be like smoking cigars. If he hears it, yeah. like, Right where like you know the, like the neighbors are that Airbnb. Yeah. He's gonna know when he hears it. He's gonna be like, what? And then mm. that will give Kevin enough time to turn the key. So just like get to the front gate, rev it, like just be as loud as you can. And yeah. And like text me, text me when you're like getting off the freeway. Yeah. So I have enough time to just let Kevin know, like, hey, they're gonna be here in like or in, in five-ish minutes. Yeah. TJ should hear the car. I'll text you when we're there. Oh, speaking of the devil, he's calling me right now. Oh, okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. This is gonna be sick. Yeah, I'm hyped. Ooh, I'm so hyped. for keeping this from you because the other day I know you asked me for pictures of this car and I was like oh the ultraviolet one yeah it's sold ghosted me <laughs> it, was, it was my favorite moment to see he because he showed me he's like you said it's sold he said oh it's sold. really oh yeah and like the factory houndstooth inserts Dude. and all of this is stuck so this is the largest MSRP GT3 RS that we've ever come across in our lives. So it's a 266 window. He just last car was a 207, 205, 207 window. So this has over 50 grand more of options. 266 window. Wow. Yeah, it's that's, it's insane. What, that's what insanity. 16. So they only made these in 16, Ultraviolet being TJ's favorite. I think with Sabrina buying this for him, this will be something he keeps forever in my opinion, but we'll see. This thing is by far the sickest spec I think I've ever seen on an Yeah, I mean, that's what he said. TJ loves it. Dude, the clear tails are probably yes. what gets I told him, because he loves the red tails and I guarantee he, okay. him and I are gonna fight about this. But the clear tails are this the answer. Style, I do think that the red tails hit very hard. Like they're aggressive, the styling is amazing, but I've never seen it with clear tails. Yes. Yes. So is he gonna find out tonight? tonight. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen tonight. Uh, probably like an hour and a half. Yep. Oh my god. Yes. He'll probably get pissed at you. Call yeah, you. I know he's You'll gonna get a call text me. <laughs> <message>. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It'll be well, worth it, his plate's on it. The registration's in the glove box. I have something to make it say "not sale pending." I'll trade you, sir. Sounds wow. good. Just All like right, that. There it is. <laughs> is that usually cleared? They, what's interesting about that, yeah, it's usually clear. This car is a 16 and has that. A car that just got introduced with that that normally didn't have oh it my God. is like, look. I, wow. Did you, did you Yeah, I that? just realized that this is here. Oh this, my God. Well, yeah. This is a GT4 RS. Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't know these things. I have no idea. Ooh. So, it's the only time I've ever seen the, the yellow in there for that Before was this. a 4S Y-Sock. And I opened that up, OEM. So like, wow. that is 
possibly one of the first cars, if not the first car with that. What Porsche will do with the exclusive options and the exclusive design stuff like that car, that's like a group of people that just say, okay, like what are we gonna do? So to use the houndstooth inserts on the seats and then do little stuff like that and to have it translate to like a production car, I don't know, that's like one of the most special specs. Yeah. Normal people period. like look at those and, yeah, and they don't care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but like, it's, it's insane. What's uh, YSOC? Uh, YSOC is a tracker race package for Porsche that's on top of the RS models already that make it to where they have carbon fiber sway bars, carbon fiber sway bar in links, oh. lighter weight materials and everything. So anything tubular that they can do carbon fiber, they pretty much do it. If not more. Yeah. yeah Cause wow. I mean, even stuff like the sway bar in links, which you wouldn't normally think like, oh yeah, we're going to make that in carbon. Yeah. Like those are dry carbon fiber, like actual race carbon, which that's on YSOC cars like that, which Porsche introduced later. Yeah, or you could even do any of that. This car existed. Wow. I, I wow. remember juicing wow. myself over the 4 <laughs> the Yeah. The 3 rs 4 yeah, which is a million dollar car. Yeah. Okay, well, I tend to like the right cars, apparently. So. <laughs> Do you think for all the viewers, we can get a startup on this? Yeah. Or is this off limits? Yeah, no, I'm sure. Or I have another one right there. What normally oh, there's two. two. Oh, well, which one do you want to pick? Do so you... what is this car? So this is a GT4 RS. It is a Cayman body okay, style. Okay. It is an, the RS. This is the first uh, GT4 they made in an RS model. This is what everybody's geeking out on. Functional That's side gorgeous. vents. Yeah. Insanity. And it's just... It's just, a, it's just a true RS. Oh, what a little swan neck. Yes. Look at that. That thing's beautiful. But I really do like the way the taillights roll into the ducktail on this. Mm -hmm. And the color. Yeah, the color's red. Color is super fire. You guys were talking about saying that these hoods are carbon fiber? 100%. So it's, yes. but so under this, correct me if I'm wrong, it's carbon fiber, paint matched, te uh, what, what purple is this? So under this vinyl, I'm pretty sure it is purple. Yeah. But it is a carbon fiber hood painted and to, then factory yes, vinyl. Yeah. Exactly. Look at this real quick. Oh yeah, it's uh, vinyl. Yeah. Vinyl emblems so for that's... weight savings. They all have them. All oh, the really? models have vinyl. Yeah. It's just the most absurd thing Can in the I, world. Can I like give you an example of what an, uh, an emblem weighs? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty close Let me just make sure we don't want to put that on the car. No. 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 Too too heavy. Whoa, you guys noticing a little bit of bedroom updating here? Today's video is brought to you by what is really the centerpiece of this room, and that's my Helix Sleep mattress, baby. Now, a few years ago, I finally switched over to a Helix Sleep mattress, and I say finally because I wish I would have done it sooner. With Helix Sleep, you can take a quiz online that can help pick what mattress that they have is best suited for you. After I finished my quiz, I found out that I was a back sleeper and I liked a medium to firm mattress, which is why I got paired with the Midnight Lux mattress. Now, you you guys already know this, but I'm always traveling and I have a very busy lifestyle, which is why I really adore the fact that Helix Sleep will ship this mattress to you for free in a huge vacuum sealed bag encased in a box. All you have to do is drag it into the desired bedroom, open it up, let it inflate naturally over a few hours and your mattress is ready to go. Shipping is free in the US and they allow you to try the mattress for a hundred nights before you determine if you like it or not. They have financing options available and a 10 year warranty, so there is literally zero risk when trying out a Helix Sleep mattress. Mattress. To sweeten up this whole entire deal, if you guys go to helixsleep.com forward slash TJ Hunt, you can take advantage of their Memorial Day sale. From May 15th to June 4th, you guys can get up to 25% off of your Helix Sleep mattress. This deal will also come with two free pillows, so be sure to click the links down below and go check it out. Thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video and taking care of us. And let's get back to today's video. Hunter's gonna give us a startup on the 4RS. I have seen one of these in person. I've never heard one. I've never heard a cold start. Thank you for that. That yeah, was no worries. so sick. sick. White sock, magnesium wheels. Eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen grand for wheels. Like not, not aftermarket, like on the windows. Wow. Eighteen thousand dollars for wheels. Um. Yeah, dude. <laughs> tomorrow I'll go pick some up. I thought my HREs were cool. Never mind. I'll just. I'll, I'll leave. We don't want to take up too much of your time doing this because they're already generous enough to stay open a little bit late for us to come and pick this car up. But every time we come into West Coast, we do the game where we pick one car. Money is not an option. One car. What are you taking? One moment. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna scan to like you're scanning. Their inventory switches a lot. This color. That color does. F 
Oh, I found it. Oh my god. Ignore everything else. Oh yes. What is that? It's an STO. I don't, I don't know what it is. So it's like the race car version of the Huracan. Like Sick. full legitimate race car. That's pretty tight up there. Yeah, the roof scoop functional too. Oh. What? Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh Dylan. Oh. Dylan, oh, Dylan just got excited. Sorry, one moment. That is f sick. Championship car. I mean, he has more championship cars, but he won championships in both of these. It was actually his first championship season win, and he set multiple track records in that car due to multiple different things. Like, that's a six cylinder Camaro hood because they're lighter than the SS hoods, which they normally ran in that class for Trans Am. They did so many different things. That's an aero disc wheel that was done like before aero discs were cool. Eric and his dad developed everything on that car to where, like, racing essentially, there's a there's like white, black, and gray. You know what I mean? Yeah. And gray's where you want to be to where you're, you're abiding by all the rules, but you're still able to bend them enough to be made about you yes, the year exactly. afterwards. Which is this car. Yeah. Like this car did that the whole and season. And then it's a twist. And then it's a change. And yeah. it's a twist and then it's a change. Exactly. And that's how you win. Oh, you can do other stuff, but this. If you heard this, holy crap. <laughs> the first time I heard it start, I was in my office with clients doing paperwork and I had to get up because I was like, I've, I Shaking gotta look walls. at what this is. When they introduced this car and then used this in, uh, what, what what class was this? Um, Trans Am. It was Trans Am. So Grand Am Rolex Sports Car Series and that's the championship. And these pissed on every car. Oh, literally. Every yeah, it, it still kind of does to be honest because like <laughs> oh. Cadillac still dominates in IMSA and that's what Eric raced and won his later championships in. Yeah, when they re-debuted the CTS-V into the whole carbon under tray and yeah. the carbon hood, and that, that was a race car with luxury interior. Thank you. Yeah, Sweet. I think there it is. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Perfect. Love you, TJ. <laughs> okay. okay, so I think I think my decision is that. That's your pick. I believe that Aston Colorway has been a big inspiration. The yellow for, for a long time, yeah. I love it. What's this blue Porsche right here? Uh, just a 992, 992 GT3. Super sick. I love the 992 body style. Hood vents. Some people think they look goofy, like some pig nostrils. I think it's money. Is it a turbo? Uh, turbo S, yes. Honestly, uh, out of all of these, I, I'm gonna have to say, TJ, you got the winner today. As far as full car and package, everything. Yeah. It is very tough to beat this car, I will say. It's really special to be even a part of something like this for such a close friend. TJ is super f***ing deserving, he works his ass off. And to be involved in just a part of getting this to him and, and having him experience this, he is 100% f***ing deserving and it's it's an honor and I know you feel the same. I mean, I've only been with TJ and you guys know, I've been working for TJ for a little over a year now, Dylan, maybe about like seven, eight months. And yeah. like, I can confidently say like, we've grown so close together within that time. Seeing him get this and seeing Sabrina, being able to surprise him with this car, like makes me feel so happy for the both of them. Try and show me a harder working mother Try and show me a harder working person and I'll tell you you're wrong. TJ is undoubtedly one of the hardest working people that I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. Makes me work harder every single day. So TJ, we love you and we're f***ing excited to get this home to you. TJ, I know you love me and I know you trust me. So for this ride, these two are getting turned on and so is that button. Way to TJ's house, and I just switched with Dylan. I just want to get some beautiful B roll driving shots of this car. I 
can't wait to see his face. I don't know if I felt something like this when I drove it. I'm gonna be totally honest. The boy's gonna be stoked. I'm telling you from personal experience now that I've driven it. <laughs> this, uh, holy shit, man. And Sabrina's texting me right now. She said he is getting in the tub now. On this Ball road. Downshift into the turn. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, 9,000 RPM, so way higher than I can make a noise of. <laughs> Push the gate cut in, and then vroom, vroom, neutral down the hill. Down the hill. Yeah. And then he'll come out all super naked. I'm wet, what do I do? <laughs> it's gonna be so okay, good. Get in the car. All right, let's do this thing. That's not fucking funny. That's not funny. What are you talking about? That's not funny. <laughs> Is he dumb? He's, he's still in the jacuzzi. He's sitting in there. Dude, get get out. Get out. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Hey, dude! No! What's up? No! What's up? Stop! He's naked. He's naked. What's up? Dude! <laughs> Why are you just there? How did you get there? Dude. Don't make me jump in and pull you out. What? Ooh. Don't turn it off. Ah! Did you hear it coming down the hill? I didn't. I heard it and I'm like, I'm like, why does that box sound like an RS? I didn't know who it was. I thought it was some, no, I thought it was, I thought it was some, I thought it was some, Stupid kid driving by, and I was like, there oh, go. What? Go! I'm fucking naked! I don't care, go! <laughs> it's not funny! I. Dude, it's. Shoo! Look at that thing! Hey, congrats. What are you. Congrats. That's you. What are you thinking? That's yours. Here, look, do this. That's yours. That's yours. I don't know if I believe this. Come on. Why would you, bu why would you buy this? Wait, hold on. Look, 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 look. This was all her doing. Happy birthday! Your mom didn't wasn't on the fucking flight today. Caught me, I lied for once in my life. And I lied too, I wasn't sick. <laughs> go, go look at it. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Right at the end. Oh! Look at that! Get him a towel. Get in it. Somebody get him a towel. Get the Reach man your dryer over there. Reach your dryer over there and touch the gas pedal. Oh, Let me get this man Just crawl. Damn. Damn. <laughs> this one's sick. You f***er. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I want different pants. I want to sit there. Where are you going? Are you naked? <laughs> Shit. Go, go, go. You f***er. Why we said we said we didn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need it. it just, you just wanted it. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. I wanted it so bad. You commented on it and you said, whoever buys this enjoy my dream spec. I said, I did say that. Did I'll say get that. it. I did I say that. The photo. I just texted Hunter about this like a week ago. I was like, I was like, do you mind sending me some photos of it again? He texted, let me find it. He texted me, lol, and TJ texted him. Can, do you have any more photos of this? Ow! He said, sorry, sold. It was sold. Hunter sends me this a couple days ago and goes, lol, TJ, do you have more pics of that RS? <laughs> Dude, I heard the car go by and I was like, was I was like, what the hell? I regret getting rid of it. I talk about getting another RS every day, every day. And I know this car is so old because I looked at the spec a million times. It has the front lift. Oh my God. Did you drive it here, Anthony? Yeah. Did you just have the time of your fucking life? It was the best thing in the world. Oh my, what the f
God, I fucking missed this car. You know what? I wonder if I still remember how to do a launch control. You go like this. It's on a fucking joke, and then I Hunter sees that I just redlined, beat the absolute piss out of this car, and he goes, "Oh no no no! Like we just thought it'd be funny if we gave it to you." So I still don't know if I fully believe it. Oh, they're yellow! Yeah. I want you to know, oh. and anyone else watching, you fucking deserve this. Thank you. And everyone watching again, he deserves it. Also worked with Adam, and I already have your exhaust on the way. Oh. Ah! Which one did you do? I don't know. You reached out to them? Yeah, I talked to them on the phone. We figured it out. We came up with the best system. Yeah. So it's going to be in in a few days. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll help you put it on. <laughs> <laughs> help. I was just talking with you about this like oh, two days ago crazy. in New Jersey. No, what? Wow, dude. No way. <laughs> oh. Oh. You, know, you want to know what I miss the most? What? Looking at the underside of the front and it's carbon fiber. Yes. Oh! This one comes with a Porsche bag. Did you guys already tell him what made this one so special? Uh, yeah, Hunter gave us the whole rundown. And it, oh, is, really? it is painted. It's painted? Yeah, I thought it was oh, vinyl. No, it's oh, when shit. I asked Hunter, he said it was vinyl. I did shit. tell myself if I ever did this car again, because I, I told Sprint, I'm like, I'm buying another, I think I said it was everyone. The car I got selling is, a, is this car exactly. I'd rather have a dot one over a dot two, despite the Apple CarPlay, and despite the fact that this one technically has a lower mid-range. But now you can add Apple CarPlay to this car, because I've already done the whole research, because I was always going gonna buy this car again, I would change the brake color so it's not Laker spec. No disrespect to the Lakers. This is hands down the most insane spec I think I've ever seen in my life. It's allegedly the highest MSRP you could do on the car. It is. He, he did confirm that. Anyone who wants my 2022 BRZ, my 2022 400Z, wants my 1994 RX-7, it's currently for sale right now. I need to make some space. I literally have no space. I like still don't believe it. I'm gonna change these out for the clear ones. Dude, it's so hot. It's, it's so hot. I'm gonna change it though. This what? spec will be perfected with that interior with all purple and then potentially changing the brakes to like, I don't know. A white? White would, white be, would be super dope. Okay, you're a little bit shorter than me, but come stand right here. <laughs> oh, he's talking to me. Yeah, short girl. Oh. <laughs> and then look at the wing height. I, I know. No, I know. I know. It's just, it's what I love. I said, I don't know, I have a problem. So you work really hard yeah. to be able to do the things that you love with the people you love, and you feel ashamed about that. Why? Not ashamed. Okay. Sometimes I look at it, and I'm like, I don't know. That's a, that's a different job for a different time. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, do I deserve that? <laughs> Dude, I literally talk about what I say to Hunter. I was like, oh no, it was off camera, but I was like, we're just a bunch of boys when our childhood. I was like, I don't deserve shit. I don't yeah. deserve any of this. It's pretty deep seated. Oh. Now I hope I just outlived the, the promise I made to myself. I won't get rid of this until I get a 992. That's the promise I told myself. I was like, when I, as I, I know, told myself, I, was like, I know I'm gonna buy another one. Didn't know I was gonna buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> I no, always knew I was gonna buy another one. And this is like, this is the spec. Oh my god, I can't believe she did that. Hunter lied to me. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, everyone that you trusted lied to you. <laughs> the way Porsche designed this, does it need any exposed carbon? Yeah. Is that even an option on the outside? No. Even the hood, beautiful carbon. On the inside, sure. On the inside, sure. But on the outside, 
I just, I just, I've always like loved that about this car and thought it was like so like respected. I don't, I don't know. I would never put carbon on this. I was genuinely shocked. It's weird because there's so much about this that you guys like haven't seen. I don't think since I got rid of it, like two months after, did I talk about with Sabrina how much I regretted getting rid of it? I was just like, oh, wait for the right time. And it's really cool that she did that for us. So now, do you remember at AVS when she texted <gasps> me? The GT3 RS message. Yeah, it almost got blown in the trailer. Yeah, we played that off very well. Yeah, it almost got blown in the trailer. So yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, but I did. You mm -hmm. sold me, and yeah. you. Yep. I can't say why because the channel won't Don't, know. Yeah, they won't know that. But yes, it was such a spur of the moment thing, and that's the that was the perfect excuse. That I have one bead of sweat just went. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Were I you in the trailer when I, I said was, that? It was us three, and it popped up on his phone. Yeah. I know I remember that, but I just yeah. remember it was me and Anthony. Yeah. Don't know if those videos are going to be here or they're going to be on the Clips channel. I was going to thank you guys for watching this video, but I guess thank you for my friends that made this possible. I'm not going to cry. And I thank Sabrina and Hunter and West Coast. So when I saw his car come up, I freaked out like months ago. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll we'll get back to our regular programming. Peace out and keep moving forward.